Um, what was that question you had on the way up here? Um, do you have a night shift? No. They actually used to live in this. They stayed up here for two weeks at a time. This right here was the vent for the stove. There was a stove right here. And then the bed was right here. Um, we've got our sink with water in it. It does work. It's not drinking water. <laughs> Rusty water. But we do have water. Um, we have a refrigerator. We have a microwave. That air conditioning is pathetic. It doesn't work, but we have one. All the comforts of home, huh? Yep. Hung up a hummingbird feeder because our little hummingbird kept coming by, and he's just happy as happy that he's got food up here. That's cool. He comes up and feeds all. He was just here before you guys got here. That's really oh. neat. He, she, whatever. Step up here. You can hang on to all of these, just don't grab the brass, okay? Okay. But everything else you can hang on to. Let's spin this around here so you can see. Wow. No, don't hold the brass. Hold these. There you go. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. Turn the needle over it that way. Yeah, you can turn it if you want to. Just make it move. Okay, it'll turn. We'll do whatever we want to. This is our mat with what we look at. We're right here in the middle. And they put it right in the center. And what they do then is we spot the we spot the uh, smoke. And then right down here there's a little arrow. And that tells us what's called an azimuth degree. We work on true north. You know how you know your directions? You know how you remember? Don't hold that. Hold this. The property that we look at is is larger than the state of Rhode Island. Yeah. A lot of attention to. Yep. Now, that was another question that, that she had that I guess you forgot, but I remember now. Is um, when there's like electrical storms moving through at night, right, or in the late late afternoon when the light starts to get dim. Do you like guys we're supposed to have today? Yeah. Do you guys usually still button it up? When you're supposed to, you know, end the shift, you did, I mean, you can't really say anything, really. Oh, we spin yeah. it. Yeah. But if we I actually see, see the strikes in the mark on the car. Oh, so you do observe the strikes oh, in the mark yeah. yeah, Absolutely. You're find a fire again. Yep. Oh, okay. Because in about two or three days, it will end up being a fire. Yeah. A few years I've ago. I've gotten a little more sophisticated than that because when you're standing here looking that direction, of course, the strike's going to be behind you. So I've got a couple of my different weather apps that actually show me where the lightning strikes are and then I mark them on the, on the fire finder. And then we watch those for three, four, five days. And uh, on a good wind day like this, they'll puff up. Yeah. So it becomes a potential uh, potential liability. Up the That's what that is building up on the ridge up there. Yeah, I, I was watching them as we were coming up the hill. I could catch glimpses back towards the crest and I see yeah. the thunderhead starting to form. That one's over there. That'll probably form later. Mm -hmm. um, they usually form down there. That's down below Yosemite. Yeah. And it's out, these out here are like out over Mono Lake. Uh, they were forming up out there. Um, yeah, 3.30. They'll have potential. Wow. And then uh, hopefully they'll keep going that direction. Believe it or not, that one cloud that's building up right there, out that head, yeah. that's all the way out in Nevada. That's out by Hawthorne. I know exactly where that yeah, is. Yeah, it's right? way out there. It's not even, it looks like it's over those ridges, but it's not. Wow. Yeah, it's a long ways out. There. That's a, that's this a one up here um, is building up. That's probably east of, of uh, Bridgeport. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, to me, it looks like it's right over the crest. Yeah, it does. It's, There's no, like, it's yeah. a hard conception to figure out where they are, but we'll get up with some more. And uh, we've already been told to, to watch because we're supposed to have lightning today and tomorrow. And it's going to be dry lightning with no rain. So the potential for fire is amazingly high. I'm kind of surprised. This big peak out here on the top, the big dark one, the last one you can see, right in the middle there's one peak that goes up. Yeah. There's a Cal Fire lookout up there. It's called Blue Mountain. Okay. And I'm surprised.
said I haven't heard Don go into service with the threat of lightning today. Usually he's up there in the lightning. And I could like be here in he can see that area because of uh, Crandall Peak right here. I can't see up past. Beardsley is right over the top of that. Then Donnell is up, up higher. Hmm. From Blue Mountain, he can see both of those up there. Okay, so he's got the vantage point looking to the south now almost. Uh, to the southeast. To the, yeah, well, he's, yeah, he's looking east. From up there where he's at. Yeah. Wow. And this is for service. We've got three on duty today. There's uh, Mount Elizabeth, and down below here we've got Smith Peak, and then below Grove is the Peak. Yeah. So what, what's the elevation here, roughly? They call it 4933, but if you look, it's actually about 4966. Uh, the tower is 55 feet, and then another. So it's a 60-foot tower. Okay. Um, so we're we're just a little over 5,000 feet here. And how many of these towers are still in operation in California? Uh, I, guess I don't know. There's quite a few, and there's a lot of them that aren't just paid positions. There's a lot of volunteers. Really? Yeah. Down by Corscold, there's one called Miami, and that's all the volunteer group down there. There's my hummingbird. How cool. Uh -huh. I think you're right. I think the males have a red head, don't they? I, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. I don't think that's a little female. She's figured out that flying into the window hurts. Oh. Yeah. She did that once and then decided that was a bad idea. Yeah. They're very territorial. So if they see the reflection in the window, they don't realize it's them. Oh. So they attack themselves in the window. That's not good. No. Tell the firefighters what I'm looking at. So you pretty much manage the distances just by dead reckoning and experience then? Yeah, and we've got a pretty good idea of what the ridges are going out. So, I mean, we can look at the map. Like we had one over here the other day that was one of our relights. And, you know, by going across Highway 108, you can look at your map and you can pretty much figure out how far away it is. Okay. Um, this ridge line right here comes from Twain Heart Gray. Goes right. all the way up. This is twin, this is Highway 108 across the top of those trees. It's just down below. It goes all the way up to Long Barn. Um, can't see Dodge Ridge really. Well, you can sort of. That last dark ridge up there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's two forks coming down. Looks like a wishbone. Um, it's way up there in the dark. You can actually see it better looking out the door. So I appreciate you calling me, but they've got it covered, bud. Yeah, as long as you're not involved, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're just patching for it right now, but thanks. Bye. Yeah, the sun just rolled by that accident. So is this optic one, the original optic? Yes, and it's. Uh, I tried to find it. It came off of a ship. It was made in 1907. So it is a naval um, piece. I've done lots of research. I have a friend of mine that's in the uh, uh, Navy. Uh, what do you call it when they reuse Navy gear? Surplus? Yeah, it's not surplus, but it's like that. He actually, you can buy things from him that the Navy is selling. Mm -hmm. um, they, it is surplus, but they use a different term for it. I gave him all this information off this scope, but the thing is so old yeah. that they can't find anything on it. Wow. They know it's a maritime piece because it's got the little anchor, which all the ships got an anchor on their telescopes. Huh. But uh, I don't know. Okay, so that was the Mount Elizabeth Fire Lookout, operated by the United States Forest Service. So, for our opinion piece today, the Pink Pixie, what did you think of your visit to the top of that uh, tower? Totally awesome. And what did you think of Mike, the lookout? He was pretty nice. Was pretty nice? Did he have a lot of information to share with you? Yep. Like what? Well, he did tell me that he uses, he doesn't use the magnetic north because it's off. It's not the north. Right. So, two north. So their Osborne Firefinder is based on what north? Two north. What north? Two north. True. True north, sorry. That's okay. That's right. Because it's a good reference to have. And 
Now what do you think? It's about one o'clock. Do you think we have to stop in Twain Heart for uh, ice cream? Yes. Oh boy. Darn him for telling us about that, but that's okay. I'm hot. You're hot? I have air conditioning. Yeah, but ice cream is even better because it's yummy. All right, off to Twain Heart for ice cream.